For purposes of this demonstration, we have partnered with Pearson View to demonstrate how an exam is delivered and with ATA who has provided an example of a performance-based test question. One of CompTIA's most recent enhancements is the addition of performance-based test questions. In most cases, these test questions can simulate an environment or technology and require the candidate to perform specific tasks. Careful attention to detail and the instructions provided will be very helpful as these questions are based on multifaceted scenarios. Here we can get an idea of what the test question will be about by reviewing the question ahead of time. To interact with the performance-based question, we click on the Simulation button. So, in this case, we need to navigate to My Documents and then configure MyProfile.txt to read only all within a command prompt window. Now, the first question that may come to mind is, what operating system are we running? Different operating systems may have different commands. If we take a look at the command prompt window, we notice that we appear to be running in a Windows XP simulated environment. So with that, we can begin to perform the required tasks. I'm going to type the appropriate command to get to the My Documents folder. I see that I am now in the appropriate folder. I can choose to navigate out of the folder by typing the appropriate command. As you can see, we can interact with this simulated Windows command prompt just as we would on a real PC. However, because this is a simulated environment, not all commands may be available. If you attempt to use a feature in a performance-based test question that is not available, you will get some form of feedback indicating such feature is not available. Quick side note. The timer is hidden while interacting with a performance-based test question, but it is still running in the background. When working with a performance-based question, it's important to stick to the task at hand and not spend any more time than is necessary to provide your response. So let's proceed in answering this question. Now in this case, you may not see any feedback indicating you completed a task. If we are simulating a real tool or environment, we will attempt to be as faithful to that environment as possible. If you are confident of your response, you will simply click Done and move on to the next test question. If you have performed multiple tasks in a performance-based test question and are unsure of your steps, you can reset the question by clicking Reset and start over. Remember, when you select Reset, all your previous steps will be lost. You'll also notice a Help button. This provides some brief information about how to interact and complete the simulation. This is just one example of a performance-based test question. Remember, paying close attention to detail and to the instructions provided will be very helpful as these questions are based on multifaceted scenarios. CompTIA wants to recognize Pearson View for the use of their test delivery software in this demonstration and ATA for developing the sample performance-based test question and for the use of their simulation engine software. Special thanks to both of these CompTIA partners for their support in the development of this short video.